Well, teenagers killed and others wounded in a deadly shooting at a high school in California. As CNN's Nick Watt reports, a teenage gunman opened fire on his birthday. It was absolutely terrifying. At least two students dead, others injured. Active shooter at Saugus High School. All schools in vicinity are on lockdown. Around 7.30 a.m. at a high school about 30 miles northwest of Los Angeles, students were arriving, starting their days. When we heard the first gunshot, we thought it was not something serious, and then we heard two more. Detectives have reviewed the video at the scene, which clearly show the su subject in the quad withdraw a handgun from his backpack, shoot and wound five people, and then shoot himself in the head. We heard the gunshots and we just were like, let's go, like, let's run. We had to go underneath the pipeline, like, so we literally crawled underneath the pipeline. Six injured students were triaged, then rushed to local hospitals. Turns out one of them was the shooter. I saw all kinds of kids running up the street, you know, screaming, crying, yelling. They were saying, no, can we go in your house? And there's like, I don't know, there must have been 20 of them went in my house. I want to make sure they were safe. Students have prepared for this, trained for just such a terrifying active shooter situation. We heard from our friends that who are still stuck in school, that they're hiding in closets, they're just trying to find anything. Yeah, they're texting us that they're scared to die and they're hiding in closets and it's, it's very sad. This mum had just dropped off her 16-year-old son when the gunfire started. I was just panicked the whole entire morning until I heard from him again and um, he said he was okay. The panic is over. The gunman no longer a threat to others. He is in grave condition in the hospital. The weapon that he used was recovered at the scene. It's a 45 caliber semi-automatic pistol, which had no more rounds in it, had no more bullets in it. But the grief remains. So too the fear for those injured and the shock. We all know these shootings happen, but when it happens in your community, you won't let go of your daughter. No, I'm scared. It was very scary. We ran, we heard the one shot, and then, then four after, and we just started running. And just all I heard, heard was all these kids running and just screaming and calling their parents, and it was, it was very sad. Well, the suspect has been identified as Nathaniel Burhow. His mother and girlfriend were brought in for questioning. Billings Public School Superintendent Greg Upham says the Billings school system has seen its fair share of threats since the October 22nd incident at senior high when police received a report of a person with a gun near the school. Now, we recently sat down with Upham to talk about what the reality is for Billings schools and what's being done. I don't think we can live in fear. Um, you know, it's it's we can't run from this. It's where we are. Um, the reality is that um, we 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 work toward it. We we uh, prepare our people for it. Um, we address it appropriately, and that um, we talk about it. I think the most important part is to talk about it. Well, Upham says it's time to enforce the "if you see something, say something" mentality. He says it's not about being a snitch. It's about the safety of everyone.